Hey everyone, my name is Rose Zhang. I just want to welcome everyone to, to the 2023 Rolex Junior All-American Awards Banquet. This is the greatest night of junior golf, so really just have fun with your friends and family, and hopefully everyone celebrates and has a good time. Um, I've been a Rolex Junior Player of the Year twice, and it's safe to say that it's one of, if not the biggest accomplishment I've had in junior golf. So enjoy the nights, and cheers to everyone who's been awarded. Hey y'all, Justin Thomas here. I uh, just wanted to congratulate each and every one of you for being here because if you are seeing this video, that means that you are the best of the best. And um, it's, it's a huge honor being involved and, and being a part of these Rolex All-American Awards. Um, you know, I was very fortunate to, to do that as well. And it's something that I know I always push myself and strive for. Um, I have a lot of great memories. Unfortunately, not too many because I'm getting so old now. It was quite a long time ago, but uh, y'all be sure to enjoy. Have a blast. It truly is a tremendous honor being here, so take some pride in that and uh, have a great time. Good evening. My name is Matt Maloney, and I'm joined by Jasmine Koo. For 2023, we have served on the AJGA Board of Directors as player representatives. It has been an honor to serve the AJGA members and gain some awesome experience and behind the scenes knowledge of the AJGA. Tonight, we are excited to highlight some inspiring moments and people from 2023. It is hard to put all of them into one night, but we did our best. Please turn your attention to the screen to relive a few of these awe-inspiring moments. The first award we will present today is the Jerry Cole Sportsmanship Award, which celebrates exceptional character, community involvement, and service to others. Jerry Cole was a 20-year member of the board, board of directors. His passion for junior golf was so strong that at his funeral, every attendee in Chickasaw, Oklahoma, wore an AGG hat in his honor. A bronze replica hat was created and the award renamed in his memory. I'm excited to announce our first recipient from Saratoga, California, Yu Yo Yo Bai. With her caring nature and desire to make a difference, Yu Bai is a beacon of sportsmanship and possesses an unwavering commitment to excellence both on and off the golf course. Yu started golf at the age of 11, but her love for the sport is not limited to her own game. As an active volunteer at her school and local golf course, she dedicates her time to caddying for younger players mentoring them not only on the rules of the game, but also the importance of golf etiquette. Her guidance plays an instrumental role in shaping the next generation of golfers. Yu's giving spirit doesn't stop there. She devotes countless hours to volunteering at local schools, aiding underprivileged children and families in need. Her initiatives range from gathering donations for shelters to fundraising for cancer research. As someone who transfers schools at the age of 14, Yu values the importance of community. She is the initiator and co-founder of the Buddy Buddy program, which helps new students on campus make friends and navigate their new surroundings. The 2023 Jerry Cole Sportsmanship Award recipient is a shining example of what it means to make a difference in the lives of others. Yu is not just a golfer, but also a guiding light who embodies the spirit of giving.
Good evening, everybody. I'd like to start by saying I'm beyond grateful to be this year's girls recipient of the Jerry Cole Sportsmanship Award. Thank you to Stephen Hamlin and the selection committee for presenting me with this honor, as I know many of my peers and friends equally deserve this award. Next, I'd like to thank my parents for their endless patience, support, and faith in me. To my mom, thank you for supporting me throughout my high school golf career and truly showing me patience and understanding. To my dad, thank you for introducing me to the game and always believing in me the most. I'm so grateful for all the opportunities you guys have blessed me with. And thank you to all my coaches and mentors of all kinds for guiding me towards the right way and being there to help me. I wouldn't be surprised if many of you here today haven't heard of me. I started golf at the ripe old age of 11, played my first tournament when I was 12, and didn't take it really seriously until my freshman year when I was 14. I vividly remember the first real AJG event I ever played was when I was 14. It was the week before my sophomore began in 2021, the Stanford Junior All-Star. I took second to last place there. Little did I know that tournament would be the first of many, many tournaments I'd play, obstacles I'd overcome, and friendships I'd form. In such a short time, golf has completely transformed my life. I'll be honest, I didn't like it at first. But when I effectively moved to Florida, I started winning some small tournaments at my academy. I thought, for how inexperienced I am, I'm kind of good at this. <laughs> the push my parents had always given me turned into an inner desire to improve. However, I'd be lying if I said that the results came easily. I would have considered myself lucky to have one day off every two months, sophomore and junior year. The pressure of college recruiting was also mounting. Seeing others my age committing left and right freaked me out as replies from schools I was interested in were few and far between. Honestly, at that time, I felt so hopeless and burnt out that I seriously considered giving up. My grades were slipping and my results weren't showing and I was just so tired. All I could think about was needing to play well. It wasn't until this year, 2023, I kind of had a breakthrough, as one might say. At the event in Panama, I shot under par for the first time in the AJGA, making it the second red number I've ever had in a tournament. I also talk, took my first top 10 there. It gave me confidence that I wasn't worse just because I started late and that I can compete against other skilled golfers. I also developed real friendships with people whom I was previously just acquaintances with. It gave me a chance to see my competitors as other girls who are just like me instead of only golfers. Because of my change in confidence and mindset after that tournament, I ended up finishing my summer with only top 10 finishes, along with an AJG exemption. I honestly couldn't have done it without my friends. Though I still have a long way to go, I find it hard to believe how far I've come in such a short time myself. All I could think about now is that I want to play well. As Marcus Aurelius once said, the only wealth you keep forever is the wealth you've given away. I always make sure to pay extra attention to any new students in case they feel lost like I did. When I see my friends struggling, no matter if it's related to golf, school, or something else, I never hesitate to reach out and let them know that I'm there for them if, if they need it. I'm sure we've all seen it, but some of my friends' parents give them a lot of pressure, often harming their performance way more than helping. Though I can't necessarily relate now, I can definitely empathize with them, and I'll always offer my support to them the same way they've always offered their support to me. I've struggled with golf, academics, and I've been a new kid trying to adapt and fit in twice. And I've conquered these challenges, but it sucks having to do it alone. I know exactly how it feels to be in those positions. I'll always reach out to hopefully be the support for someone else that I didn't have myself through those times. Through, the, through golf, I've met and seen many different people and places along my journey. In fact, I still talk to the girl I played with in that Stanford Junior All-Star from time to time. I met two of my best friends, Chloe and Leah, through golf. When Leah won in Panama, she was equally as proud of me for my accomplishments as I was for hers because she's seen my improvement firsthand. Chloe always keeps up with my tournaments and texts me good luck. If my luck wasn't so good, she's there for me if I need to vent about what happened. I can confidently say that for all the inspiration and kindness they've shown me, my friends deserve this award just as much as I do. 
I'm so thankful for all the opportunities AJGA has presented me in terms of recruiting, travel, and playing golf. In a short five years, I've established countless relationships around the nation, many of which I'm certain will last through our, our collegiate golf careers and beyond. Thank you all and good luck this week. The game of golf has given so much to each and every one of us. The next Jerry Cole recipient is working hard to make sure that he gives back to the game that has afforded him countless opportunities. From Austin, Texas, Blake Burt. A young man who exemplifies sportsmanship, integrity, and a dedication to making a difference that exceeds far beyond the golf course. Blake Burt's passion for golf is not just about winning tournaments. It's about using the sport as a platform for positive change. Blake has taken the reins as chair of the AJGA Texas Cup, helping to raise an astonishing $250,000 to support programs like the Liberty National Ace Grant and Cap City Kids, which helps children facing homelessness beat the odds and receive quality education. Blake's altruism is not limited to golf. He also serves as a student athlete ambassador for Morgan's Message, an organization dedicated to raising awareness about the importance of mental health among student athletes. Not only is Blake a skilled golfer, but he is a leader and a mentor. As his high school golf team's captain, his positive personality and willingness to check in on others exemplifies what it means to be a team player. Blake Burt embodies what the Jerry Cole Sportsmanship Award is all about. It's not just another accolade for him, it is a true testament to his outstanding character. Blake's story is an example of the incredible impact one person can have on the world. How's it going? Uh, I'm inc incredibly honored and grateful to be standing here today as a recipient of the Jerry Cole Sportsmanship Award. It's truly humbling to be recognized for something that I've always considered an essential part of the game. When I first started playing golf, I quickly realized that it's not just about hitting the ball, it's about embodying the values of respect, integrity, and sportsmanship. Whether it's congratulating an opponent on a great shot, or helping to search for a lost ball, or acknowledging the efforts of my fellow competitors, I've always tried to approach the game with a positive and respectful attitude. I want to extend my deepest gratitude to my family, friends, and coaches who have been my unwavering support system, your encouragement and belief in me have shaped my journey on and off the course. I've learned that the kindness and camaraderie we show to others in the game can have a lasting impact, and I'm so thankful for the guidance and inspiration I've received along the way. I'm grateful to have been asked to lead the Texas Cup in 2023-2024 by Sean Carl Dobson and the Dobson family. It's been an honor and a privilege to be a part of something so special. I'm going to greatly miss competing together with some of the most fun and talented competitors to collectively raise money for the AJG Ace Grant program. We've raised over $250,000, and I'm positive that the giving will continue in years to come. I also want to thank the organizers of this event for recognizing the importance of sportsmanship in golf. It's an incredible honor and character as much as it does skill and competition. As I stand here today, I feel a renewed sense of responsibility to continue embodying the spirit of sportsmanship both on and off the course. And I'm committed to being a positive example for my peers and the generations of golfers to come. In closing, I want to express my deep gratitude to the AJGA for this award, as well as giving me and many other junior golfers the platform to compete and grow both on and off the course. I'm excited to continue my journey with a renewed sense of purpose and a commitment to spreading the positive impact of sportsmanship in everything I do. Thank you all for this incredible honor. Good luck tomorrow. Go Frogs. One of the most important initiatives the AJGA has ever introduced is the Liberty National Ace Grant. This program provides financial support to juniors who have the talent but not the means to compete on a national junior golf schedule. This year was a big one for the Ace Grant Liberty National Golf. Liberty National Golf came on board as a naming rights partner. We want to specifically thank the Dan Fireman and the whole Fireman family for making this agreement possible. Officially known as the Liberty National Ace Grant, 
This partnership is the first of its kind for the AJGA, and the 12 years of support will help provide an incredible impact now and for many years to come. Hi, I'm Kylie Chong. I'm from Torrance, California, and I'm part of the Liberty National Ace Grant Program. It's affected my golf career because I've been able to play around the U.S., and I definitely wouldn't have had the opportunities I've gotten without it. I mean, yeah, I've had multiple different colleges, college coaches, you know, get in contact, and I'm very thankful for the Ace Grant allowing me to get in touch with these college coaches so I can successfully play golf at a college level. So I've been part of the Ace Grant program for about two years now, and it's helped me grow as a golfer and play such high-level golf courses and play against the best players worldwide. And it's impacted my golf career by tremendously helping my family financially. It's helped us by pursuing our golf career and giving the exposure we need for golf coaches and continue our golf career to college, which is our lifetime goal. It's a wonderful program. Uh, please take a look because it really helps to give our, our children the opportunity to participate in the top junior uh, tournaments and events in the world. That Anthony has like the ability to go and play golf and we are not stressed. We have a certain number of dollars that are covered and even if we have to pay a little bit extra, like, you know, let's say it doesn't cover the full amount, but it's something compared to if I would have to pay everything. I can, you know, just go play golf, not, you know, worry about anything else, just to go have fun and, you know, play golf and, you know, spend time with my parents or my dad, you know, different part of the, you know, the country. And yeah, it's amazing. Yeah. Like he was able to travel to Punta Cana, which he happened to win. Now, we couldn't do that on our own, right? So that was a huge blessing, huge blessing for us to be able to have the financial security for him to be able to play in these tournaments. I would highly recommend it for the parents that need that help. Um, and for us, it was, like I said, AGG has been a true blessing for us. Hi everyone, my name is Katherine Ha and I'm joined by Brooke Simmons. We will serve as the 2024 player representatives on the AJGA Board of Directors. The AJGA has been a big part of our lives and we are excited to help bring the voices and ideas of the membership to the board. 2023 was a banner year for the AJGA in so many ways. The AJGA had a record-breaking membership year, finishing the season with nearly 9,100 members across all 50 states and 58 countries. With over 8,500 or 18,500 playing opportunities, our members had more access to tournaments than ever before. We also introduced the International Pathway Series, which gives international members an opportunity to play in AJGA sanctioned events and earn stars that will help them on their journey to play college golf. There are some incredible moments on the golf course as well. In January, we conducted the 15th Grand Vacations Annika Invitational presented by Rolex, where Ashling Kaur won an exemption into the Hilton Grand Vacations Tournament of Champions Pro-Am, winning both the net and gross divisions of that event. Later that month, we took it international with events in Panama and Bermuda. In February, the Fortinet Girls Invitational at Stanford and the AJGA Simplify Boys Championship at Carleton Woods brought together the best girls and boys over President's Day weekend. Anna Song and Nick Gross picking up the victories. The spring season brought many preview and Ninja Junior All-Star events, which provided great opportunities for the younger and first-time members to get their start into AJGA competition. The spring also featured several high-profile tournaments, including the Justin Thomas Junior Championship and the Mayakoba Invitational. Billy Davis took home the Mayakoba Trophy in Mexico after two playoff holes for his first Invitational win. I can't believe I just said that, but um, <laughs> the, uh, the Will Lowry Junior Championship also took place in the spring and provided a unique and fun tournament feel with music on the first tee and activities throughout the week. The start of the summer was incredible as we partnered with the LPGA Tour to host the Mizuho Americas Open, which became the first televised AJGA event, but more on that later. The Team Taylor Made Invitational featured one of the strongest fields in boys golf as Caden Pope won via playoff 
and the Rolex Girls Junior Championship saw one of its youngest winners ever as 14-year-old Asterix Tally took home her first invitational win. The Polo Golf Junior Classic returned as the only individual match play event on the schedule, with Jay Lane Jr. and Katie Lee winning at Beth Page Black. And speaking of match play, I had the honor of competing at the Wyndham Cup, Go East, um, at Mayakama Golf Club, which hosted the competition, but um, the West retaining the cup. Rounding out the summer, the Junior Players Championship presented by Rolex had the youngest champion in its history in Miles Russell. The event's pipeline to the PGA continues to be strong as 53 players have now played in the Junior Players and have gone on to play in the Players Championship, including the 2021 champion Justin Thomas and the 2023 champion Scotty Scheffler. The highlight of the fall season came in September as the top 12 girls from the United States traveled to Spain to take on their European counterparts in Ping Junior Solheim Cup. This year, we were fortunate to have 26 professional golfers and other athletes host AJGA tournaments. Their support shows how important junior golf is in growing the game around the world. Overall, the AJGA conducted 135 tournaments in 2023, but the most significant impact may have come outside of these events. Since 2009, the Leadership Links program has raised more than $7.5 million for over 2,500 charities. As part of the program, the Cobra Puma Golf State Cup Series raised more than $1 million this year alone. The AJGA also continues to strive to create a diverse, equitable, and inclusive environment across our staff, membership, and the golf industry. Over the last two years, we've committed more than $2 million in the inch Inch natives, oh, bro, that was bad. Um, inclu <laughs> including reducing entry fees for players who qualify in the tournaments, and multi-year plan to lower membership fees and support various minority organizations in their efforts to diversify and grow the game. We are excited about the future of AJGA, junior golf, and what 2024 will bring. At this time, I'd like to ask all the juniors who are scholastic honorees, first team, second team, or honorable mention Rolex Junior All-Star Americans to please exit into the hallway. It's the first time I've read in like four years. <laughs> the Mizuho Americans Open was the first event of its kind for the AJGA. 24 of the world's top junior girls golfers competed alongside the LPJ, LPGA's best on the iconic Liberty National Golf Course. Michelle Wee West helped create a mentorship program between the juniors and the LPGA players, adding to the tournament experience. Yana Wilson was crowned champion of their inaugural event alongside two-time Rolex Junior Player of the Year, Rose Zhang. Continuing the theme of elevating girls golf, the Ping Junior Solheim Cup teams were captained by two golf legends, and I was fortunate enough to learn from U.S. team captain Amy Alcott, do it for Texas, while the European team was led to victory by Gladys Nasera. While we didn't come back with the cup, we will take the memories and experiences from the week with us forever. USA!
JGA mission focuses on overall growth and development, including in the classroom. Tonight, we honor 46 of the brightest minds from 14 states and three countries. These high school seniors earned a top finish in an, eight, in an open or invitational event and qualified for the honor through academic excellence. Of the scholars recognized, the overall national adjusted GPA was 4.6 with an average 14 ACT and 1500 SAT. Since 1988, Rolex Scholastic Junior All-Americans have achieved successful college, amateur, and professional golf careers. Alumni include Kelly Booth, Casey Martin, Tiffany Joe, Matt Kuchar, and Boyd Summerhays. We present the 2023 Rolex Scholastic Junior All-America honorees. With a GPA of 4.34 from Saratoga, California, you buy. With a GPA of 4.91 and committed to Dartmouth College, from Germantown, Maryland, Olivia Kong. With a GPA of 4.0 from Ann Arbor, Michigan, Yi Yen Jones. With a GPA of 4.51 and committed to Dartmouth College, from Alamo, California, Colin Keith. With a GPA of 4.38 and signed to Stanford University from San Diego, California, Jay Lang Jr. With a GPA of 4.0 and signed to the University of Washington from Bellevue, Washington, Amber Lee. With a GPA of 97 from Vancouver, British Columbia, Michelle Liu. With a GPA of 4.42 and committed to Columbia University from Danville, California, Emily Lauer. With a GPA of 4.44 from San Diego, California, William Ma. With a GPA of 4.616 and signed to Northwestern University from Pennington, New Jersey, Megan Meng. With a GPA of 4.44 from Grand Rapids, Michigan, Will Preston. With a GPA of 4.76 and signed to the University of Wisconsin, from Wellington, Florida, Jason Schwartz. With a GPA of 3.94 from Newtown Square, Pennsylvania, Henner Stetson. With a GPA of 4.24 and signed to the University of Virginia from Albany, New York, Kennedy Swedek.
with a GPA of 4.12 from La Jolla, California, Lucy Yuan. With a GPA of 4.22 and committed to Princeton University, from Menlo Park, California, Eric Yoon. With a GPA of 4.53 from Lake Mary, Florida, Barry Zhang. With a GPA of 96.25 from Vancouver, British Columbia, Vanessa Zhang. with a GPA of 4.23 and signed to Rice University. From the Woodlands, Texas, Daniel Zoe. Congratulations to the Rolex Scholastic Junior All-America honorees. During the fall for the past four decades, the best junior golfers in the world have earned distinction as Rolex Junior All-Americans. Tonight, the top boys and girls from the 2023 season join a list of past outstanding alumni, including Tiger Woods, Scotty Scheffler, Nellie Corda, Justin Thomas, Lexi Thompson, Jordan Spieth, N.B. Park, Paula Creamer, and Cameron Champ. These junior golfers from 20 states and eight countries excelled on the golf course during more than 140 national junior golf events, including 135 conducted by the AJGA. We present the Rolex Junior All-America Honorable Mention Team. From Kahuku, Hawaii, Kihei Akina. From Blacksburg, Virginia, Jake Albert. From Pinehurst, North Carolina, Carson Bertinoli. From St. George, Utah, Boston Bracken. From St. Simons Island, Georgia, Jackson Bird. From Allen, Texas, Yu Chu Chen. From Augusta, Georgia, Hamilton Coleman. From Short Hills, New Jersey, Aphrodite Dang. From Howie in the Hills, Florida, Gerardo Gomez. From Jenks, Oklahoma, Lisa Herman. From Huntsville, Alabama, Andrew Henson. From Thomasville, Georgia, Mason Howell.
from Rome, Georgia, Tanana Kochasamani. From Langley, British Columbia, Amy Lee. From Orlando, Florida, Mi Lee. From Vancouver, British Columbia, Michelle Liu. From Jackson Township, Pennsylvania, Michael Lugiano. From San Diego, California, William Ma. From Fleming Island, Florida, Tyler Mawini. From Dallas, Texas, Nathan Miller. From Encinitas, California, Michael Reby. From Charlotte, North Carolina, Elizabeth Rudisil. From Stevenson Ranch, California, Eliana Saga. From Birmingham, Alabama, Scarlett Tremor. From Dallas, Texas, Brooks Simmons. From West Lynn, Oregon, Natalie Yen. From La Jolla, California, Lucy Yuan. From Menlo Park, California, Eric Yoon. From Bellevue, Washington, Angela Zhang. From Lake Mary, Florida, Barry Zhang. From Toronto, Ontario, Eric Zhao. Congratulations to the Rolex Junior All-America Honorable Mention Team. We now present the Rolex Junior All-America Second Team. From Irvine, California, Ronan Banerjee. From Torrance, California, Kylie Chong. From Roanoke, Virginia, Katherine Ha. From Cota de Casa, California, Anna Wong.
from Woodstock, Maryland, Irene Kim. From Danville, California, Joshua Kim. From Plano, Texas, Young Ho Lee. From Encinitas, California, UJ Liu. From Pennington, New Jersey, Megan Meng. From Torrance, California, Nikki O. Oh. From Los Angeles, California, Anna Song. From Reunion, Florida, Sui Wu. From Vancouver, British Columbia, Vanessa Zhang. Congratulations to the Rolex Junior All-America Second Team. We now present the Rolex Junior All-America First Team. A three-time champion highlighted by a win at the Wyndham Invitational presented by Odyssey. From Nashville, Tennessee, Blades Brown. A Stanford University commit with three top three finishes, including a tie for second finish at the Rolex Tournament of Champions. From Irvine, California, Lee Chen. The champion of the Girls Junior PGA Championship. From Estero, Florida, Gianna Clement. Champion of the Mayakoba Invitational and signed to Auburn University. From Spring Valley, California, Billy Davis. A two-time champion highlighted by a win at the Pete and Alice Dye Junior Invitational. From Ponte Vedra Beach, Florida, Philip Dunham. A three-time champion with a win at the AJGA Invitational, presented by Ping and signed to Texas A&M. From Litchfield Park, Arizona, Wheaton Ennis. Champion of the AJGA Simplified Boys Championship at Carlton Woods and signed to the University of Alabama. From Downingtown, Pennsylvania, Nicholas Gross. With six top 10 finishes, including a runner-up finish at the Jack Burke Junior Invitational. From Dallas, Texas, Henry Guan. Champion of the 29th Annual Bobby Chapman and committed to Vanderbilt University. From Marvin, North Carolina, Will Hartman. Champion of the Dustin Johnson World Junior and committed to LSU. From DeBerry, Florida, Riley Knob. Champion of the AJGA Invitational presented by Ping and committed to the University of Southern California. From Cerritos, California, Jasmine Koo.
champion of the Polo Golf Junior Classic and signed to Stanford University. From San Diego, California, Jay Lang Jr. Champion of the Ping Heather Farr Classic and signed to Texas Christian University. From Scottsdale, Arizona, Gracie McGovern. A four-time champion with a win at the Junior Players Championship presented by Rolex. From Jacksonville Beach, Florida, Miles Russell. A three-time champion highlighted by a win at the Rolex Girls Junior Championship. From Chowchilla, California, Asterisk Tally. A two-time champion with a win at the Mizuno Keith Mitchell Junior Championship. From Huntsville, Alabama, Tyler Watts. A two-time champion including a win at the Mizuho Americas Open and signed to the University of Oregon from Henderson, Nevada, Yana Wilson. Champion of the Joanne Winter Arizona Silver Bell Championship from Irvine, California, Alice Zhao. Congratulations to all of the 2023 Rolex Junior All-Americans. This year, thanks to our partnership with the USGA, we are excited to announce that the Girls Rolex Junior Player of the Year will receive exemptions into the U.S. Girls Junior, the U.S. Women's Amateur, and the final qualifying for the U.S. Women's Open. And the Boys Rolex Junior Player of the Year will receive exemptions into the U.S. Junior Amateur, the U.S. Amateur, and the final qualifying for the U.S. Open. Tonight, I have the honor of introducing one of the 2023 Rolex Junior Players of the Year. Our first recipient's dedication and determination are unmatched. She's extremely reliable as a golfer, a teammate, and as a friend. She is someone you always want on your team. She doesn't seek the spotlight or recognition, but she puts her head down, works harder than anyone to be the best she can be, and lets her golf speak for itself. I had the honor of traveling with her to Spain, to play in the Ping Junior Solheim Cup. It was fun to share memories that we will never forget, including our paella and churros with hot chocolate on the last night of Marbella. She lights up a room when she walks in and always knows the right thing to say. On the golf course, she was a two-time invitational champion who competed in 10 events recognized by the Rolex AJGA rankings. She claimed five top three finishes, including wins at the Mizuho Americas Open and the AJGA Girls Invitational. She was also a member of the West Windham Cup team and the United States Ping Junior Solheim Cup team. The first player from Nevada to receive the award, a two-time first team Rolex Junior All-American from Henderson, Nevada, Yana Wilson.
Thank you, Jasmine. I'd like to start off by saying that I am thrilled to be here in front of you all tonight to accept this award. Winning this prestigious award is an incredible honor, and I would like to take a moment to express my heartfelt thanks to the American Junior Golf Association for making this dream a reality. First and foremost, I want to express my deepest gratitude to the AJGA and Rolex for their unwavering support and dedication to junior golf. The AJGA provides a platform for young athletes like myself to pursue our passion for golf and strive for excellence. The countless hours they invest in organizing tournaments, providing guidance, and nurturing talent have played an important role in shaping my journey. Next, I would like to congratulate the 2023 Rolex Boys Player of the Year, Miles Russell. Miles, your play this year has been nothing short of extraordinary, and it has been an absolute joy for all of us to witness your success both on and off the golf course not to mention breaking one of Tiger's records. Keep up the hard work, and I can't wait to see what your future holds. I would also like to offer my congratulations to all the individuals who earn All-America honors, including those who recognize with Scholastic All-America honors. Your dedication both on and off the golf course has paid off and has been a pleasure to witness. I'd also like to extend my gratitude to the mentors within the AJGA who have given their time and expertise to guide us. I have been lucky enough to form some special bonds with former LPGA Tour major champions such as Annika Swornstam, Michelle Wee West, and Amy Alcott from playing in AJGA tournaments. Having the privilege of participating in tournaments hosted by legends like Annika and Michelle, the Annika Invitational, and the Mizuho Americas Open, and being under the guidance of Amy Alcott, our 2023 U.S. Junior Solheim Cup team captain, has been an invaluable experience that has enhanced my understanding and knowledge of the game. You have helped mold us in not only better golfers, but also better individuals, and for that, I am truly grateful. Throughout competing in AJGA events, I have not only learned valuable experiences from my mentors, but also from my fellow competitors I get to compete with week in and week out. The competition in junior golf is, in junior golf is fierce, and competing against such talented and dedicated individuals has pushed me to be the best version of myself. Throughout my years in competing AJGA events, my, the pinnacle of my junior golf career was undoubtedly the privilege of representing the West in three Wyndham Cups and representing the Red, White, and Blue in two Ping Junior Solheim Cups. These two prestigious team events have not only taught me a lot about my game, but have also led me to meet some amazing people from around the world and create friendships that will last a lifetime. One of my favorite tournaments that I enjoy playing every year is the Wyndham Cup. The Wyndham Cup holds a special place in my heart. It's not just any tournament, it's the one I look forward to every year. For the past three years, I have been lucky enough to be on the West team with Jay Mills and Sid as our captains. Being part of the team has taught me a lot about what it means to be a teammate. It's not just about playing golf together, it's about having each other's backs, sharing goals, and making lasting friendships. The Wyndham Cup is more than just a golf event. It's like a yearly adventure where we learn, grow, and create awesome memories together. Another great team event I look forward to playing every two years is the Ping Junior Solheim Cup. Ever since I was a little kid, the excitement of watching the Solheim Cup on TV planted a big dream in my heart. It became a goal of mine as a junior golfer to one day play in the Junior Solheim Cup. The thought of representing my country and following in the footsteps of those inspiring players I admired on TV has been a driving force in my journey, making every swing and practice session meaningful. The Junior Solheim Cup isn't just a tournament, it's the realization of my childhood dream. In this year's Junior Solheim Cup, we were fortunate enough to travel to Spain and compete against Europe's best players. It was my first time competing on foreign soil, and to be able to share that experience with some of my good friends was really special and something I will cherish forever. To my parents, family, and friends, your support has been immeasurable. From the early mornings on the range to the late night conversations about strategy and determination, your unwavering belief in me has fueled my passion for this sport. Your sacrifices and encouragement are the pillars of my success and I am forever grateful. I would also like to express my gratitude to my sponsors, trainers, and everyone involved in this remarkable journey. Your support and contributions have enabled me to focus on my game and achieve my goals. As the Rolex Junior Player of the Year, I'm not only a representative of the AJGA, but also an ambassador for the future of junior golf. It is my promise to continue working hard, 
pushing the boundaries of my capabilities, and setting a positive example for young golfers to come. In conclusion, I am overwhelmed with gratitude for this award and the incredible opportunities that has come my way through the AJGA. Together, we are shaping the future of golf, and I am proud to be a part of this journey. Thank you to the AJGA and Rolex for this incredible recognition and for believing in the potential of junior golfers. With your support, I am excited to see what the future holds for all of us. Thank you. Our next Rolex Junior Player of the Year is just as good off the course as he is on it. Since 2019, he has hosted the Florida Sunshine Cup through the AJGA's Ryder Cup style fundraising event, which benefits the Nicholas Children's Healthcare Foundation and the AJGA's Liberty National Ace Grant. This event has raised almost $400,000 in just five years. Since 1991, Tiger Woods stood as the youngest boys Rolex Junior Player of the Year at 15 years and 10 months old. That record has now officially been broken. Not only is he the youngest boys Rolex Junior Player of the Year in AJGA history, he also became the youngest champion of the Junior Players Championship uh, presented by Rolex. In total, he competed in eight events recognized by the AJGA rankings, never finishing outside the top 13. His wins also included two Ninja Junior All-Star Series events and the Boys Junior PGA Championship. Receiving his first Rolex Junior All-American honor from Jacksonville Beach, Florida, Miles Russell. Next to the tee, Jacksonville Beach, Florida, Miles Russell. Good evening. Let me first off by saying this is way more nerve-wracking than any golf shot or putt I've ever had to hit. <laughs> so please bear with me. I stand before you tonight humble and grateful as I accept the 2023 AJGA Junior Player of the Year Award. This award comes from countless hours of hard work and dedication and a deep passion for the game of golf. I want to thank all the juniors here tonight it's a privilege to get to play with you, and I'm really thankful for the friendships I have made. I think we will all look back on these years with some really great memories. I'd also like to congratulate Yana on this award. It's an honor to share it with you. I'd like to express my heartfelt thanks to AJGA for providing us with such an amazing platform to play the game we love, and to all the tournament directors, staff, and volunteers that make these tournaments run so smoothly. Well. Maybe not to the folks that give out the red cards. <laughs> and I'd like to give a big thank you to Mr. Hamblin. The advice you gave me while playing the Junior Rams together is priceless. <laughs> to Rolex, thank you for your support of this event and your partnership with the AJGA. So we have such great courses and venues to play. To Team TaylorMade, I'm so thankful for your support and partnership with the AJGA. I think your support I think, I think your belief in me is why I'm here tonight. When I look back at the past seven months, well, it all started with an exemption into Team TaylorMade Invitational. When you guys asked if I wanted to say, if I wanted to play, I said, all I want is an opportunity, and you gave it to me. So thank you guys for believing in me. Andrew Morgan and Manny Girona, 
You two are beyond amazing, and I appreciate everything you do to help me succeed, whether it's making my clubs and shafts just right, caddying for me, or shooting pool in the hotel lobby. Thank you for your support and most of all, your friendship. To my coach, Ramon Bisconsa, not only are you the best coach I could ever ask for, but an even better person. I feel so lucky every time I get to work with you. I gain more confidence at each lesson. You are a wealth of knowledge and I appreciate you sharing that with me to help make me better. To my friends and family that send words of encouragement and congratulations. It means the world to give me, it means the world to me and gives me that extra motivation. To my parents and grandparents, thank you so much for everything you do for me. You are my biggest supporters and some of my favorite people. If it was not for your belief in me, I would not be where I am in golf or as a person. I thank you for the opportunities you have given me. Bumpa, I'm so grateful for your fight and so glad you're here tonight. Thanks for all the times you've picked me up from school and taken me to the golf course. I wanna give a special shout out to my sister Josie. Unfortunately, she couldn't be here tonight, but I wanna thank you for always supporting me on this journey. You're the best sister. You have sacrificed so much of your time and weekends to be there with me. I know I may give you a hard time, but I want you to know I love you and appreciate you. Thanks for keeping me in line. <laughs> Lastly, to the community, community at Atlantic Beach Country Club, thank you for your continued support and words of encouragement. To my best golf buddies, Joe, Doug, and Drew, thanks for letting me be part of the group. You guys may be old, but you're really wise. <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate you sharing life skills and keeping me focused. I truly enjoy our friendships. Once again, I want to express my appreciation to the AJGA and all those who have played a part in my success. Good night and good luck to all. Yana Miles, great job with the speeches, fantastic. You just did beautiful. Can we have another round of applause for all the award winners? And Miles, I know you've re requested to play with me in the Junior Ams, but we're gonna have to cool it because it's gonna get, you, you can't keep asking for me, I'm sorry. Uh, now you know why we call this the greatest night in junior golf, celebrating these young men and women for all their accomplishments on the golf course, in the classroom, supporting their communities, just kind of restores your faith in youth. At least it does for me every single year, and I appreciate that. I want to thank the food and beverage staff here. Weren't they just great? I mean, we just, this is good. And I want to say that the AJGA staff that we have is the most unbelievable group of young men and women. Uh, they, they did this whole thing. This is, uh, this is the AJGA staff coordinating this evening. And Lauren Shelley kind of headed the charge here. So Lauren and the AJGA staff, thank you. In closing, we did have a little match today. Um, it's really kind of boring, actually. Um, C.A. Roberts has been such a great friend of mine and, and, and Doug Feehan, and they got us today. Um, so I've got to give kudos where kudos are deserved. So C.A., Doug, we'll get you next time. Good night, everybody.